What's going on people? Free Raptor here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day slash night. So today we're going to talk about Zafina. Yes, Zafina. Zafina was bought in Tekken 6 as a unique character. So basically, uh, Zafina's, Zafina played a key role in Tekken 6, you might say. So she, she was basically responsible for guarding Azazel's tomb. Yes, Azazel, the annoying, one of the most annoying boss, uh, bosses in Tekken history other than Jimpachi. Jimpachi was alright, but Azazel, Azazel was annoying as hell. So yeah, she was uh, she was responsible for guarding the tomb, and basically she, she was a character. She was unique. She was unique. Basically, she had different fighting style. Her, her fighting style was weird. It was called the ancient, was something ancient assassinations fighting style, something like that. I think it was called that. But yeah, I, I played Safina a little bit in Tekken Six. I didn't play her much because uh, I mean, back in the day, I, I it was all about the Mishimas or the other new playable character. No one gave no one gave a. No one gave attention to Zafina, as you might say, but some people might. Some people, it was the main of some people. So Zafina was balanced in Tekken 6, but when she came in Tekken Tag 2, I've heard Tekken Tag. I, I, I personally didn't play Tekken Tag 2, but I've heard she was incredibly, incredibly weak in Tekken Tag 2. But yeah, since she just made her appearance in Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag, uh, Tekken Tag 2, we're just gonna go through some of Zafina's opening. Uh, we're gonna see if Zafina can make it to. As a DLC character, because some people really want Zafina as a DLC or season three pass character for Tekken for, for the upcoming DLC or season three. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, think as well if you guys are interested as having Zafina for Tekken Seven DLC or season three. So yeah, let's 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 just go through some of the story from. Uh, let's go through our opening. Let's uh, for those of you who don't know, we'll get a brief opening from Zafina and uh, a more of a prologue and ending from Tekken from Tekken 6 to Tekken Tag 2. So yeah, let's get started, let's get started. So Zafina was born into a line of dispellers of evil with a bloodline dating back to ancient times. So she was an assassin. The expectation spiritual powers from a young age, as I, as I told you guys, she, she had some she had some weird powers. She was an astrologist. Uh, she did astrology in a past time, so she was kind of a psychic, to be, uh, to be precise. I think she was a psychic. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, yeah. So as a astrologist some astrologist so she got that she got that omen of like two devil two devil stars two devil stars being Kazuya and Jin obviously yeah the elders uh, stated the legend stated that if two dark stars came to in contact those two dark stars are Jin and Kazuya are two boys are two Mishima boys father and son mm. One day during the revelation, Zafina set forth to a land in the far east where dark stars were expected to meet so that blah blah blah. Alright, so this is Tekken 6. This is the ending part for the story. This is after she defeats uh, Jin or anyone who comes to um, free Azazel or whatever, fight Azazel. This is supposedly to, uh, supposed to be the guru who she consults. As you can see, she's walking back uh, into the tomb. So that's it. So Zafina has gone back into the tomb, serving a purpose to guard Azazel's, Azazel from getting out or guard the tomb in general. So if you guys, if you guys, this, this, this is every ending to, uh, I think this is every ending once you finish with every character. The tomb just, uh, the, the place around the tomb just collapse, collapses. Okay, so that was Tekken 6. This is Tekken 2 now. So we're gonna go, we're gonna look at Tekken Tag 2. What happens Tekken Tag 2? I, I basically Tekken Tag 2 is non canon because Zafina already served a purpose. Basically, her, her side of the story is already fulfilled that she uh, served the purpose. I mean, that's not the main canon of the story. The main, what happens in Tekken 6 is that Jin, if you play through the whole story mode of Jin, there's a new, there's a mode where you can play through the entire story like Tekken Force. So if you play through Tekken 6 as Jin, uh, uh, just, just Tekken 6 in general. Uh, the ending of the of, of the story is that Jin fights Azazel. Uh, Jin fights Azazel and kills him. So basically, the reason of Jin fighting Azazel was that uh, he wanted to get rid of the devil gene inside him or something like that. Uh, he was trying to get rid of the devil gene or, or whatever the bloodline, but he failed. And that's the reason we see in Tekken 7 that Jin comes, uh, Jin gets lost in the desert. He comes from the desert. That's after fighting Azazel, keep in mind. So yeah, this is Tekken Tag 2. Let's let's just watch it. The threat of two stars that would shake the world 
is now over. Yes, I said. She fulfilled the purpose. Yes. Why does this uneasiness within still torment me? G Corp? As always? May already be rising somewhere in this world. I think it's G Corp. Yeah, it, no, it doesn't it doesn't look like G Corp. G Corps have like different sort of masks. Whatever threat may be, I will not Ancient assassination fighting style guys. Yeah, so she had weird stances. She could go into so many stances, so many stances. Okay, that's that's basically it. That that's that's all it was. Um uh, so yeah, it's brief. So she only came in Tekken 6. She was introduced as a main character in Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2. Well, not so much. Tekken Tag 2, she was weak. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. If you want Zafina back in Tekken, Tekken 7 DLC Season 3, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And that was that was uh, that was a. If you, I don't know if you guys heard that. That was a loud car, whatever in the background. Anyways, um, yeah, you guys are awesome as always. You guys keep doing what you do. Comment, like, do whatever you gotta do. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. That being said, stay safe, guys. Peace. Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them scream?